Hello and welcome. I have just read Bob Norman's Bush Pilots. It's a great read. Bush Pilots Airways was a legendary provider of services to outback Queensland. Bob Norman enlisted in the Royal Australian Air Force in 1941, undergoing initial training as a pilot in Australia before advanced training in Canada. It was here that he learned of the Bush Pilots of Canada who serviced remote areas. Bob married before he left for war and wouldn't see his wife again for three years. Returning home, now 27 years old, he had rejected a job with the Lancastrian service, ferrying officials and mail, based in the Persian Gulf. No wives allowed. No thanks, he said. Instead, he and his wife opened perfection dry cleaners in Cairns. He obtained his commercial pilot's licence and flew part-time at the Cairns Flying School and Bolton's Flying Service. Those organisations failed. Then Lana Sugden and Frank Mitchell asked Bob to join them in starting the North Queensland Aero Club. They own one functioning Tiger Moth and two crashed Tiger Moths, which they repaired. Tiger Moths were 50 pounds each from the RAAF and they would throw in a crashed one for spare parts. Bob volunteered as an honorary pilot for the Queensland Aerial Ambulance. One of his first emergency calls was from Reedy Springs, west of Charters Towers. A woman was seriously ill, hemorrhaging from miscarriage. There was no airstrip at Reedy Creek, so one was constructed as Bob flew there in the Tiger Moth. The lady said she would rather die on the ground than go on the aircraft. Bob took her husband for a circuit to convince her that it was safe. This was 1950. Boarding schools closed early that year due to outbreaks of polio. Children went home to their parents on outback stations. The annual Georgetown Christmas races were held and people converged there to enjoy company. On January the 4th, parents were on the two-way radio to air ambulance as their children fell ill to polio. The ambulance de Havilland Dragon Rapid was too big for the rough station airstrips, so the tiger moths were drafted. Tiger moths aren't suited to transporting sick children. In another medical emergency call out to Bev Annings Cattle Station, west of Charters Towers, Bob and Bev discussed the need for an outback emergency air service with an aircraft more suitable than the Tiger Moth. Anning suggested graziers could help fund the service in a partnership with the North Queensland Aero Club. Instead, Bob chose to establish a limited liability company, Bush Pilots Airways, funded by subscription. The company's first aircraft was the De Havilland DH-90 Dragonfly, which was purchased from Ad Astra Airways in Sydney. Bob flew the aircraft north to Cairns on the 19th of June 1951 and it went into operation on the 23rd of June. As the number of shareholders increased over the next few years, the company was able to expand its fleet. By the second half of the decade, it had 11 four-seat Oster order cars flying throughout Cape York Peninsula, the Atherton Tablin and the North Queensland Plains. On the 6th of March 1956, Cyclone Agnes devastated much of the far north Queensland. Despite the treacherous conditions, Bob flew to outlying communities to warn them of approaching floodwaters and in the days that followed to deliver food supplies to those families cut off by flooding. In 1959, the company purchased its first all-metal aircraft, a Cessna 182, and started operating a flying surgeon service based out of Longreach. In 1963, Bush Pilots Airways acquired Somerset Airways, which was established in 1950 and operated out of Longreach Airport. In 1965, Bob Norman resigned and Sir Sidney Williams became the Chairman and Managing Director. The airline continued to expand as companies such as Craig Boston and Shaw Saddle Shipping Line took up shares and invested money to finance expansion into larger aircraft and larger route network. The company's first scheduled air service commenced in 1968 flying between 
Karumba and Cairns. In May 1972, Bush Pilots absorbed Queensland Pacific Airways Limited, taking over its Douglas DC-3 aircraft to boost northern services whilst adding new services further south, including Brisbane to Toowoomba and Rockhampton. Such are the huge benefits of regional air services. The services north from Brisbane were popular with business travellers and tourists alike. In 1978, Bush Pilots Airways changed its name to BPA. There were concern over the Bush content of the name as it brought to mind such disparaging descriptions as a Bush haircut or a Bush lawyer. The name was okay for the local community, but what would sophisticated international tourists think with promotional material heralding a Bush pilot? BPA also provided services to Groot Airland in the Northern Territory and at one stage was registered in Papua New Guinea where it operated a charter service for mining companies. In September 1981, an agreement was reached which enabled BPA to streamline its reservations and ground handling arrangements through ANSET. Then, on the 1st of December that year, BPA was rebranded Air Queensland. Under its new name, and the arrangements with ANSET, Air Queensland carried over 280,000 passengers annually to 89 centres across Queensland and the Northern Territory. Its 33 aircraft fleet included six Metro prop jets, three Fokker Fenship F-27s and six DC-3s. In the mid-1980s, a bidding war for Air Queensland erupted between ANSET and TAA, renamed Australian Airlines and then later merged into Qantas. Both carriers recognised the value of a regional feeder service. Bob said that Reg Ansett offered to buy them out, which was rejected, to which he replied that he would take their business anyway with better, more comfortable and faster aircraft. The stakeholder Graziers replied that he would have nowhere to land his aircraft as they would fence their airstrips. TAA won the day and Air Queensland became part of Australian Airlines in 1985. It was fully absorbed into Australian Airlines on the 30th of April 1988. Much of Qantas Link's current Queensland network has its roots in the Bush Pilots Airway BPA Air Queensland schedule. In line with Sir Robert Norman's original vision, there was much more to Bush Pilots Airways than its commercial operations. In addition to operating flying surgeon services out of two regional centres, the company and people were always ready to help out individuals and communities in time of need. 18 years later, when Cyclone Tracy hit Darwin on Christmas Day 1974, a new generation of pilots from the airline provided emergency response support, evacuating residents to Alice Springs. Such are the huge benefits of regional air services. Sadly, Sir Robert Norman passed away in 2007. Thank you for watching. Please comment, like and subscribe to promote content. Mm -hmm.